is listening a bit, that you have to listen to it somehow, yeah? and that you kind of shape through listening something. wanted to create a music festival in which, um, in which uh, we treated the festival itself, our relationship with the participant, and the, um, everything that came out of it as a piece of experiment. <laughs> I'm Aaron Foster Braylon. Um, and I'm the uh, co-director and co-founder, co-artistic director, co of the Cohen Fratage Music Festival. So he's all the things. <laughs> and he's the other half. I I'm Luke Martin and I'm the other co. <clears throat> kind of the main focus of it is to provide um, a field or space or an area, whatever you want to call it, that uh, has the potential for anything to happen. Uh, doing it at Washington Street here, this location where we are, uh, is important because this gallery is kind of a nodal point uh, in town for experimental music. This year we had these hour-long performances in Union Square as kind of a thread that would tie it together as little meeting points throughout. Are all in the circle or When two people are pointing their flashlights on at each other at the same time, um, both people will ring their bells. in a place with people who have worked with the idea of sound art in a familiar way for most of their lives, who are from all over, and most of them are older than me, maybe all of them, and it's a super unique and formative experience. In inclusivity is um, not only a really important part of experimental music in general, um, but also as a part of this festival, and so that means for practically, that means that every single event and concert of this festival is 100% free and open to the public and we invite anyone and everyone to come and join. We do these listening exercises for about 15 minutes at the beginning of each sound bridge. Something that I feel when I do it is that there's this, there's this connection that happens between people, or, or that can happen between people. This idea of actively listening is an openness and requires a certain openness to allow continued sounds, events, interactions to all to happen. I'm gonna try to introduce the next move. So everyone hold the bucket up like this. Now we're gonna do it And so this next move is drop. And so drop is like good as a decrescendo or a crescendo, and there's many, obviously, so many ways to do it. But this this workshop like... was called a Dynamic Listening Dance Workshop. It's like an architectural electromagnetic sculpture consisting of lots of knitting and these sculptural buckets. And it's called the Dynamic Listening Instrument. It allows sound to be used in a very unique way where it's just very much tied to movement. So gentle swing is like this. The workshops allow or try and like experiment with the idea of simultaneous movement, simultaneous listening, and simultaneous breath as kind of like a microcosm of what would be cooler if more people were doing that. I think it's really important that for this kind of festival to exist right now because of the experimental nature of its organization and thus its power structure. We allow different people to exercise agency and feel comfortable doing that mm -hmm. uh, and have it shift and flow with how the group decides. And this is a, you know, a, a model. It's a political model. There's seeds in, in this kind of model for uh, like dramatic change. <laughs> 